Hi everybody, it's Malik again on his channel. Today I will show you one of the easiest ways to reset a forgotten login password for Windows 11, 10, and Windows 8. Using this method, you will unlock your computer and log into Windows with a new password. First you need to open the command prompt and enter two commands in the command prompt. Then on the lock screen you will open the user account tab, create a new password, and after that you will log into Windows with the new password. Watch carefully, don't worry and repeat exactly after me, step by step, and we will succeed. And so, now we will look at three ways to open a command prompt, and you can choose the method that is most suitable for you. Method number one. On your keyboard, press and hold the shift key, and then click here and restart your computer. The main menu of System Recovery Program opened before us. Click Troubleshoot. Then Advanced Options. Now press Command Prompt. This was the first way to open a command prompt. Depending on the configuration of the operating system, the program may ask for your password before opening the command prompt. In this case, I suggest opening the command prompt using method number 2 or 3. Method number two. If your system asks for a password to open a command prompt, you need to connect a Windows 7, 8, Windows 10, or Windows 11 installation USB flash drive to your computer, or you can also use a Windows installation DVD. Usually, using such a bootable USB flash drive or DVD disk, Windows is installed on the computer. Whether your version of Windows is home or pro, any edition of Windows will work to reset your password. Connect this USB flash drive or Windows DVD to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, Find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu. Press Enter. The Windows installation menu will open, but we will not install anything. Just press Shift and F10 at the same time. And the command line immediately opened. Sometimes this method does not work, and now I will show you the third and final way to open the command prompt. Method number three. The first few steps of method 3 are exactly the same as in method 2. We boot the computer from the Windows installation USB flash drive or Windows DVD and wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install Windows here either. Next, in the menu we will click Repair your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click Troubleshoot. Now press Command Prompt. The Command Prompt has opened and now we need to find out what letter our C drive with Windows is designated by. To do this, enter the command Notepad. Click Enter. A Notepad window opened. Click File. Click Open. And here click this PC. Here we see several drives connected to our computer. Now you need to find the disk on which Windows is located and remember the letter that this disk is designated by. This will be necessary for our further actions. The fact is that here the drive with Windows does not necessarily have to be designated by the letter C. It can be designated by the letter D or another letter. Perhaps your computer has several physical disks and then you can identify the Windows disk if you open it and see folders that are usually located on the C drive. Typically, the Windows disk contains the Program Files folder the Windows folder, user, and other folders. I open the local drive C, and here we see the operating system folders program files, the Windows folder, user, and other folders. This means that my Windows drive is designated by the letter C. Please remember your drive letter where your Windows is located, and we continue with our video tutorial. We close this window, close notepad, 
And now we need to write several commands to reset the password in the command prompt. Enter the command. Move. Space. I write the letter C, but you must write your own letter, which is assigned to your local Windows drive, then colon, slash, Windows, slash, System32, slash, Udelman, dot, exe, space. I write the letter again, C, but you must write your own letter, which is assigned to your local Windows drive, colon, slash, Windows, slash, System32, slash, Udelman2, dot, exe. Press, enter. Now write, copy, space. I write the letter, C, but you must write your own letter, which is assigned to your local Windows drive, then colon, slash, Windows, slash, System32, slash, CMD, dot, exe. Space. I write the letter again, C, but you must write your own letter, which is assigned to your local Windows drive, colon, slash, Windows, slash, System32, slash, Udelman, dot, exe. Press, enter. Now write, Pudel, space, reboot, press, enter and the computer will restart. My computer rebooted. I hope everything went well for you. And now you need to click on this button. The command prompt has opened and now we need to write control space user passwords to click enter. A tab opened, user account. Here we see the account name. If you have several accounts on your computer, then you need to click on the required account, then click Reset Password. Now on the tab at the top you need to enter a new password. Enter the password again. OK. Click OK. And this tab will close. Close the command prompt. We have successfully deleted the old password. Now create and enter a new password. Now click here. And you should be able to log into your Windows without any problems. Everything went well for me. And I hope that you were also able to unlock your computer and reset your password. Please don't forget your new password. Have a nice day everyone.